Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Hexagon Live with Jose Sanchez. You are a mining expert, global mining expert as such, here in the zone for the mining technology. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk to you is what we see in mining, we see coming down the line into other parts of the industry, like earthworks and things like that. So the autonomous journey that mining is undergoing at the moment is quite significant, isn't it? And um, tell me about the things that are happening there and how we see them potentially translating to the rest of the industry moving forward. Oh, well, sure. No, autonomy right now is so exciting in mining. Um, you know, what you think of automatically is haul trucks that don't need drivers, but it's so much more than that. You know, the technology that we've worked with uh, with the other divisions of Hexagon, reality capture to, to make sure we know what the terrain looks like, being able to visualize that in 3D and being able to, to plan out all the routes for the trucks is an amazing thing that's happening. And, it, and we're marrying it and, and it's happening side by side with so many other industries, right? And you see the same thing in construction, yep. you say the same thing in, in so many agriculture uses it as well. Um, what we really uh, focus on and what I think we're contributing to the autonomous story is um, the idea of safety while this is all happening. Because mining is huge on safety, yeah, right? It has yeah, to be. Yeah. You have huge trucks that could really do some damage. So the anti-collision yep. technology, also what we call personal alert, which is just the idea that uh, pedestrians need to be protected. All of that fits into autonomy really nicely with us to the point where we can make autonomous vehicles stop if a person gets too close yep, and yep. things like that. So we're really focusing on that technology and I think that's translating into other industries as well. And you've also been putting together sort of autonomous haulage trains yes. as such in Australia. Exactly. And obviously Australia is a, a big mining country, like other elements in the world. Tell us about that and how significant that is from a, a cost saving and a safety perspective. It's, it's amazing, you know, um, being here at Live, you really get that message of we have to do better. Yep. And we have to make technology that, that not just helps uh, the, the, the cost and profits, but also the environment. And, and road trains is a really good example of technology that, you know, it, it's so much more efficient and it saves so much on so many things. Um, I think it's something that, that you know, will improve footprints and, and do a whole bunch of good. Uh, and, and for mining, it's essential because that, that transportation of material is, is a day-to-day -day and it's a Constant, huge- Constant, 24 hours. Yeah, it's it? a huge yeah. cost and it's also really taxing on the people who drive it. Yeah, you know, yeah. we, we have a fatigue uh, a solution that measures your fatigue level and that's where it's used the most because those, those things go on for long times, narrow roads that are straight and it can be really tough on the drivers. So yeah, we're really proud that that project went through and we're hoping that that just keeps going into other industries as well. I think the fatigue thing is quite interesting because obviously people doing long shifts, if you've had a bad night's sleep, if you've had a rough day the day before and you're just not sleeping, yep. you know, that sort of fatigue element really is something that can save people and it's not something that you're going to hit people over the head with. If you're fatigued, you're fatigued, exactly. you know, but you can help people to, to not be so fatigued and to say, look, take a break. You know, exactly. And so that sort of technology can really translate, can't it, to other sectors and other industries? 100%. I think the, the story that really drove it home to me when we started working on our fatigue solution was we implemented it in a mine and there was a worker who was constantly getting the, the micro sleeps, we call them, and yeah. the, the system was telling him, you're falling asleep, you're falling asleep. The manager had to talk to them and instead of just being like, hey, you're not doing your job right, yeah, 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 yeah. he went to see a doctor and he actually realized that he had an apnea problem and he actually got help on that and was all of a sudden way better, healthier in general. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really good example. And exactly, I think, you know, any industry where there's a monotonous task that, that can be dangerous, train driving, yeah. uh, you know, um, semi driving, whatever it is, I think any of those industries can use it. And now you're seeing it in cars, that technology is starting to be built into the new cars. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's technology that'll be used all over the place for sure. So wearables is a big thing that's coming in as well. You yeah. know, you talked about the personal alert device. There's other wearable elements for safety uh, as well. But, you know, the way in which mining is happening is we're kind of reimagining it from a perspective of yeah. your traditional design of trucks because the trucks have a cabin for somebody to sit in. You know, there's a steering wheel as such. Uh, and 
that sort of autonomy means that we can actually redesign some of those trucks to be more efficient. So literally, they can either take more payload or they're reducing in the size or the, the weight of the truck that's got to move. So the fuel is a big issue, isn't it? Definitely, no. I've seen some amazing things um, uh, in the last couple of years. You know, trucks that are on, on tractor wheels and they can like swivel all the way around, 360 degrees. Things like that would not have existed with a driver in there. A driver wouldn't be able to handle that. But now that it's autonomous, we can handle these equi the equipment that can go more places, be more efficient, be safer. Um, so yeah, that that's I think one of the one of the things I've seen in my career. I've been in mining for uh, 20 years now. What I've seen is that we have exactly like you're saying we're reinventing it. You know, yeah, yeah. we used to be sort of the the backwards like ah everything's done with hand picks and. But we've gotten over the last 10 years, especially into so much cool technology. And I think it's being tested here and then being applied in other places for sure. Yeah, it's great. So I mentioned fuel earlier and obviously fuel prices have gone through the roof, but um, alternative fuels yes. and alternative ways of working are also where mining it really suits something. So, you know, having the solar arrays next to the mine or whatever that can charge battery powered uh, equipment. So we're now we are seeing big players like Caterpillar um, investing in mining technology for battery for powered hydrogen. and hydrogen as well. Where do you see that coming in? And it's it's also huge. I mean, uh, we've always worked um, already for the like, probably for the last five years with. Um, uh, it's kind of like the street trolleys, you know, the, the yeah, wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. electric that way, uh, where trucks just connect to that and they can drive around so they're fuel less. Um, and then I, I just see that that part of the industry is going to grow so much in the next uh, couple of years. Uh, we're already talking to clients who are looking into alternatives, uh, solar or battery or electric. And yeah, I think that's going to take over because we have to. At this point, we, we, we've gotten to that point where we really mm -hmm. have to, yeah. cost-wise and environmentally-wise, yeah, definitely. So what's happening right now that you're excited about and, and what has been sort of launched or, or touched upon at Hexagon Live for the mining piece? I, I think for us, the most exciting thing is the idea that all this data that comes out of all this new technology that has come up in the last years um, can all be used in one place, right. right? Because there's so much data. I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of data that comes from our safety devices, from our uh, fleet management, from planning, from all of those, but gathering all that data and being able to actually use it yeah. is really exciting. So we, we have a couple of things on our booth right now that are focused on that. Um, the idea that you can just on a web browser bring it up and you can see reports on safety right next to your fleet management, right next to your planning and look at it all at once. That's really exciting for us. And so that again is going to be technology and, and data management that is going to come into the other sectors and other places like that as well. Definitely. And of of course, you know, you've got an autonomous truck that can also be an autonomous truck that's surveying themselves as well, can't yeah. you? And, and the yeah. whole mine as well. So oh, lots yeah. going on, isn't lots, it? Lots, lots. It's amazing and it's a really exciting time to be, be in, in the industry, but also in mining. Fantastic. Great yeah. to meet you. Cheers. Very nice to meet you.